boxing truth here. Welterweight contender Jeff Horn has really impressed Bob Arum and his legendary matchmakers. Bob Arum has recently announced a co-promotion deal with Jeff Horn with Horn's New Zealand promoters. And now they're going to be looking to build him up and perhaps put in positions to a Manny Pacquiao fight. Bob Arum needs Pacquiao opponents for 2017 as Pacquiao is looking to fight twice more. And he needs some new names, new blood in order for the opponents to be there to challenge Pacquiao. So Aram is just scouting around, seeing what's out there. There's a couple of guys ranked in the WBO that need to be removed from the rankings because those fights are just not attractive for Manny Pacquiao as the top two contenders for the WBO strap are guys he already beat in Timothy Bradley and Jesse Vargas. Those fights are not sellable again, so... Aram needs to look for other opponents. Now, I made a video about Jeff Horn a while ago, about a month ago, saying that he could possibly upset Errol Spence, that he could possibly whip his ass. And I got a lot of feedback from that video, a lot of laughter, talking shit, stuff like that. But I know I wasn't crazy. I knew what I was looking at when I, when I first saw Jeff Horn fight. All you got to do is watch his last fight, and, and you can see within the first couple of rounds, you'll be impressed. I mean, you, you would be thinking that you, you're going to watch some guy, that, that, some Australian guy that can't fight, but man, that one fight that I saw of him, his last fight against Rico Mueller, he impressed me with that showing than anything Errol Spence has shown me thus far. In terms of his skill set, the... the, the what he brings to the table, his his punch variation, his angles, his footwork, he's he's he seems to have it all. He's got good speed, he's got he's very sharp, he draws good combinations, very good counter puncher, a lot of straight right hand leads, punches off angles. The kid can really fight. And now he's getting the backing of legendary promoter Bob Arum. And his matchmakers think he's at at the top of the welterweight division. He has the talent and potential to be at in that position. And now, he's just two fights away from a Manny Pacquiao fight. Now, I would rather Horn fight somebody else besides Pacquiao for the time being. But if he beats someone like a Timothy Bradley or a Jesse Vargas, and he does it impressively, and, he, and if he impresses this weekend against Ali Fonica, then I really have no issue. If, if he can beat a former Pacquiao opponent very impressively, then he, he's earned his shot against Manny Pacquiao because he's already rated number two within the WBO, I believe. And all he has to do is beat either a Bradley or Vargas to earn that shot. Bradley is rated number one and top, top rank are trying to Maneuver the rankings in order to get more fresher opponents, fresh faces to fight Manny Pacquiao. But I knew I wasn't going crazy. Horn's getting a lot of praise, even from legendary matchmakers from top rank. They feel he's at the upper echelon of the welterweight division. And, I mean, that kid can really fight. Hopefully he he puts in a good performance this this Saturday against Ali Fonica. He's got a lot of pressure on him. Bob Arum's there to scout him. He's already signed into a co-promotional deal, and they're trying to see if he's ready for the big time. All he needs is a an impressive performance this Saturday, and then he'll be in position to fight either a Vargas or Bradley's and get a fight in, in the United States for some time in 2017. But Horn's already in position for multiple world titles, rated number two in the IBF. He's in the waiting line, though. Looks like Brooke is going to take the mandatory against Spence. So Jeff Horn has to wait in line. He's rated number two with the WBO. And if he can get a p potential bout with either Timothy Bradley or Jesse Vargas, I would pick Jeff Horn in those fights, man. I mean, that kid can really fight. He's just a fresher guy. He's he's confident. He's undefeated. He's getting the push behind Bob Arum. And he's looking to bring him stateside and expose him to the American public, and that kid can really fight, man. He's getting a lot of praise from respected boxing figures. Uh, Coach Bob Sheridan, the, the the guy that the longtime commentator who's been around for ages, has commentating on, on 
numerous generation of fighters, and he he even himself said that he expects Jeff Horn to be at the, at the top of the welterweight division, to be a a potential star and a and a long reigning champion. So a lot of praise coming for for Jeff Horn. I knew I wasn't going crazy when I when I watch this guy fight. I know what I'm looking at, and he's definitely a potential world beater in the welterweight division. And him in a Pacquiao fight. Jeff Horn definitely needs to be a big name, a top level welterweight before he gets that fight. But if he was able to do that and eventually fight Pacquiao, it's a good fight. I mean, it'll be a a skillful display and it won't be boring because both guys will be in the pocket trying to do damage to each other. And, and overall, it'll be a good fight. But I understand people don't know Jeff Horn. They want to see guys that they know fight Pacquiao but I wish Jeff Horn gets the opportunity to fight not just a Bradley or Vargas but even a, a PBC guy or, or Errol Spence before he fights Pacquiao because he's going to open up a lot of eyeballs I think Jeff Horn could potentially beat anybody in the welterweight division not name Manny Pacquiao but potentially could beat anybody in the welterweight division Thurman Porter, Spence, Bradley, Vargas, Jeff Horn could compete with any of those guys. I'm telling you, but interesting events turning out for Bob Arum as he's signing co-promotional deals with Jeff Horn as well as Joseph Parker. He's gonna win or lose for Bob Arum this Saturday. He's gonna be leaving with a with a heavyweight title holder, unless it's a draw between Joseph Parker and Andrew Reese, a co-promotional deal with Jeff Horn as he looks to get place Horn and into position to possibly challenge Manny Pacquiao. And for Jeff Horn, all he has to do is look impressive, and I believe he will. The kick and fight. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.